What's up guys, Baker here. Today I'm back with a very exciting tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to take an old vintage style photo and fix or color correct the image to make it seem like a normal everyday photo. And I'm also going to show you how to kind of reverse engineer that technique and take a normal photo and kind of steal that color correction to make it seem like a vintage photo. So here are quick two examples right here. You can see the actual vintage photo on the top uh, before and after the color correction. And on the bottom, I sort of stole that color correction and made this photo turn into a vintage photo. So the first thing you want to do is try to find a photo you either want to fix or a photo that you want to copy the color correction. So I would just go on Google search and find your favorite vintage photo. And that kind of seems like these vintage photos here aren't actually vintage and they're just kind of... Uh, Instagram filters so I just searched up old color photo and found a few good examples that I'd like to take a look at so here are a few examples that I like to go through uh, I found a picture of some workers here in an old kind of family photo looking thing and just one last one was a very heavily filtered Instagram selfie now I went with these photos because I thought their color scheme was pretty extreme compared to maybe you know like an old style photo like this where the color isn't really you know extremely faded or has a strong tint so let's go ahead and get started first I want to mention you can do this with pretty much any program you can do it with Photoshop or Lightroom or Premiere or After Effects but I prefer to use After Effects because you can also use this on videos pretty easily and the same technique applies and it's just you know my program of choice so first let's go up to layer and make a new adjustment layer Let's go ahead and search up some levels and apply that to the adjustment layer. So if we look at our histogram here, we can see we don't have the full range of blacks to whites. It is kind of faded on both ends. So we're going to go to each individual color channel and fix that. So let's go to red and let's just bring up the inputs to match where our histogram starts. And for simplicity, I'm just going to round these numbers to the nearest 5. So let's say 25. And let's bring in the input white down to here let's say I don't know 230 let's move on to the green channel bring in the input white let's say 15 bring down sorry input black bring down the input white let's say 205 blue channel increase this let's say 25 decrease this let's say 195 now it looks pretty good so far but you can tell that the overall uh, tint is still kind of leaning towards the reddish magenta kind of color So what we're going to do now is use the gamma control to adjust that so it looks like it's kind of red So we're going to increase the blue and green a little bit So on the blue, let's maybe go to 1.2 and on the green Maybe 1.2 as well now overall it does look pretty neutral now next Let's add a hue and saturation because most of these vintage photos are desaturated so let's boost this up until it looks pretty nice. Don't go too far or extreme because it will look really bad. So let's say 40. That looks pretty good. So that is the first step into color correcting a vintage photo. So here's the before and after. Before, after. Looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is completely reverse this entire operation to try to make a normal photo into a vintage style photo. So the last thing we added was hue and saturation. So the first thing to go backwards is to add another hue and saturation. And instead of going to plus 40, we're gonna go to negative 40 on the saturation. Then we're gonna go back to levels and apply another copy of levels. Let's expand this panel and take a look at our levels. Let's close out the hue and saturation. And let's both go to the red channel. Now the inputs to fix this was 25 and 230. So that means the outputs on the reverse need to be 25 and 230. Let's go to the green channel. Inputs were 15 and 205, so the outputs need to be 15 and 205. Now with the gamma, this was 1.2. Now we need the inverse of that, so if that's 0.2 higher than 0.1, this needs to be 0.2 lower, so 0.8. Let's go to blue channel. Inputs were 25, 195, so 25, 195. Gamma was 1.2, so this gamma will be 0.8. Let's go to 
Let's set this back to RGB and close out of this. Now our photo should be back to normal, so let's just check by toggling off the adjustment layer. The difference is very subtle, so we know our color correction worked perfectly. So now what we can do is copy this adjustment layer, Command C, and go to some normal footage here I found on YouTube and paste the adjustment layer. Now what we need to do is delete the first levels and the first hue and saturation because that was the vintage to normal color correction and the last two was normal to vintage. So if we delete these two, now we have a color correction that matches that original photo that we found. Pretty cool and that looks pretty good. So I'm going to delete that adjustment layer and go over one more example. We're going to use the same technique on this photo but I'd like to show this one because this is a pretty extreme color correction here and let's see if we can fix it. Layer, new, adjustment layer. Throw on some levels. Go to each individual channel and change the input to what you think will match the ends of the histogram. I'm going to fast forward through this real quick and I'm going to show you the before and after. Okay, so here's the before and here's the after. I'm not going to lie, this looks like a pretty good quality photo based on what we had to start with. So let's go ahead and go backwards here one more time. Throw in another hue and saturation and I increased it by 30 here, so let's decrease it by 30 on the second copy. Close this up, close this up, throw on some levels again and start comparing the inputs to the outputs and just make sure you do the opposite. So 75 and 250 Gamma is 1.1, so this gamma will be 0.9. Let's go ahead and fast forward through this. And again, to make sure this worked, let's go ahead and toggle our adjustment layer to make sure it looks the same before and after because these should technically cancel out. It does look good, so I'm going to copy the adjustment layer, bring it over to my normal clips, delete the first levels and hue and saturation, and now we have a vintage looking video that copies the color correction from that photo. So like I said, you could apply this technique to any vintage style photo and you can fix it. And you can also take its color correction and apply it to normal footage. So a related video that you should check out um, is my white balance tutorial. And it kind of follows the same technique with the levels and changing the inputs and outputs. And it's a good tutorial on how to color correct and change the white balance of a photo to make them more presentable and have a um, wider range of whites and blacks. So go ahead and check that out. It is pretty informative and it's one of the nicest, simplest, and effective techniques that you can use on your photos and videos. Also in my transition preset Baker Easy Transition V2, I included a color correction pack that looked kind of like this. And as you can probably guess, some of these vintage style uh, color corrections were based off of this tutorial and other vintage photos. And actually some of these other ones were based off of Instagram photos. What I did was I took a screenshot of the Instagram filters before and after. And I used the same technique to reverse engineer their filter so I could apply it to different photos and videos inside of After Effects instead of only Instagram. So that's pretty much it. Go ahead and like and favorite and share and subscribe and comment if you have any questions or hit me up on Facebook and Twitter if you have any other questions. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show you how to take these vintage style photos and fix them and then kind of steal their color correction. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. And that is it. All right. Peace.